Almost 10 years ago, I created the world of Rivet Wars, a world of steam-powered tanks, monowheels, rocket bikes, and more. This started out as a custom character toy line that then grew into factions and finally a board game. Rivet Wars draws inspiration from the deep history of military vehicles, combat aircraft, model making, toy lines such as G.I. Joe, steampunk, and Japanese mecha. The production miniatures began as a Kickstarter in 2014, and it was a huge success and allowed us to create dozens of different characters, tanks, vehicles, and aircraft. Since then, no new designs have been published for Rivet Wars, and expansion of the line did not look likely. But now a new Kickstarter is underway and is already funded. This campaign will add a brand new third faction to the world of Rivet Wars. The campaign will also generate new updated rules, figure sculpts, playing boards, and more. I'm making this video in the hopes that it'll introduce Rivet Wars to a wider group of people who might have similar interests. Here you can see the original Rivet Wars factions in battle, the Allies and the Blight, the Allies with their rocket cycle half-tracks, and the Blight with their four-legged tanks and gigantic siege tanks. The Namoans, the newly added faction, introduce a high-tech army into the mix, with their subterranean origins and their humanoid combat mechs. It's all pretty exciting, and I'm just really happy to see Rivet Wars coming out again. I'm really excited to see what Steamforged is doing, and just looking forward to everyone being able to get back in the fight. So I hope you'll take a moment and go check out the Kickstarter, and maybe jump in and support it. As always, thanks to all the fans who supported Rivet Wars in the original Kickstarter and continue to support it, and looking forward to seeing some new fans coming in.